Hey everyone, my name is Sam and thanks for checking out my video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. So I mentioned in my vlogs earlier, I thought this would be kind of a cool way for me to do my own thing around the holidays. I just didn't honestly think I had the time, nor did I think I'd be able to like upkeep just the schedule of having a new vlog miss. And I also don't think my life is super interesting enough for having to do a vlog every single day. So I would kind of take the 12 days of Christmas and put my own spin on it and pick one book, the 12 days leading up to Christmas, that I thought were the best books of the year for me. These books didn't have to be published in 2017, though I think a lot of them were. Yeah, so these are my 12-ish I cheated on a little bit of them. Favorite books of the year. I thought it would be kind of cheating as well as help me cheat at the same time. If there was more than one book in a series that I wanted to talk about, I would just put this series as one pick instead of picking, you know, you know, A Court of Thorns and Roses as one, Mist and Fury too. So that way. I also wanted to stay away from big, massive series. It's just been flooded on booktube. So for that reason, I love Sarah J. Mass. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, the first three books this year, and absolutely loved them, and I'm total trash for them. But that's just been done before. So I just wanted to be a little bit more unique and talk about some books that don't quite get the same PR that I really, really enjoyed and I want to tell people about. So the 12th book on this list... The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This book was so interesting and such a surprise to me. I think it's technically an adult book. This book also made my prettiest covers that I purchased in 2017 list. I've seen the UK covers and I've fought with my coworker about this, but I think this cover makes more sense and is also more aesthetically pleasing to the eye than the UK covers. So The Bear and the Nightingale is kind of, I don't want to use the term zombies, but I don't know how else to describe things like this. So it is set in rural Russia during the Tsarist era, which is pre-World War I. There's a lot of magic kind of infused very subtly in this world. So it's kind of like a fantasy historical fiction, which is kind of my like favorite wheelhouse area. I also studied Russian history, so this was immensely either going to be hugely problematic because I could see inaccuracies or I was going to love it. And thankfully, I absolutely loved it. They have a very weird family dynamic in this book. So the main character is the daughter, the youngest child, and her mother dies after giving birth to her. And there is some of that sort of leftover tension in the family as she grows up. And she also seems to have magical powers and she tends to wander off and kind of march to the beat of her own drum. During the course of this, her father remarries and is trying to marry off his sons. And then you see the struggles of what it's like living in rural Russia. And then there's the infusion of religion and how that has played a role in people thinking some people are witches and all this kind of stuff. And then there's like people coming back to life and zombie kind of thing. Everything just goes to chaos in the end. And that's really, really fascinating. And I found an incredibly unique book. I find that's pretty hard to find in fantasy nowadays. So I would really highly recommend this book. I'm pretty sure I got the sequel, The Girl in the Tower, for Christmas, so hopefully I'm going to be seeing that soon in my house. There is also a third book. It is going to be a trilogy, and the title has been announced. I haven't seen the cover announced yet, but I'll put the image right there. I am just really, really impressed with this book. It's also a debut work, I think, as well, and it's just so unique, and the characters are just really fascinating. The main character was so adorable and I I just like, I don't know why, but I just like really understood her whole marching to the beat of her own drum. I was just always rooting for her and always rooting against the bad guys and just, it was just so, such a well-constructed novel. I really enjoyed the writing. I always find books, especially like with Russian settings, tend to be like super thick and over detailed and all that kind of stuff. That could just be like kind of the Russian writing style as well. But this book isn't super long, but I really think it gave, there was just so much world building and relationships and like, I just feel like it did everything super, super well. And I am beyond excited for the next book. And I would highly recommend it if you like any sort of magic, historical fiction, Russia, cute child kind of a long game think you see the announcement of the pregnancy and then you see her grow and it's just so fascinating and it is actually a really good job i think of kind of portraying what life was like in rural russia even when you're not poor there was still situations especially in rural russia when you are that remote of you know accessing food and heat and all that kind of stuff during this time period so that is the first of my 12 ish books of Christmas. Make sure to check the description box down below for all of my social media. If you follow me, I will follow you back, and I hope you are having a wonderful holiday.